Hello everyone, we will continue the sample project requirement or case study requirement for sales order. And in the previous video, we understood the functional specification. Now it's a time to just interact with the functional person fully because now we need to understand the relationship between the tables because that functional want they're based upon the functional specification they want the output from these three tables so it means we need to find the relationship between these three tables so what the first thing you need to do ask the functional person for the test data test data is very very important because based upon test data only you can be able to find the relationship between the tables so ask for the functional person that you need a sample test data so that you can find the relationship between the tables and i will say the best sit with functional person and just see how functional is preparing the test data because if you want test data later also at least you will be in a situation to prepare the test data by your own so at that time yes you can prepare the test data and you can go for the various permutation combination but yes the best way just sit with functional person and just see how functional is preparing the test data or take the test data from the functional person. Now just see, this particular requirement is based upon sales order, sales order report. It means we will interact with which functional person who is expertise in sales and distribution module. We all know we always has functionals for the dedicated module, SAP sales and distribution functional person, SAP material management functional person, SAP finance and controlling functional person, SAP WM means warehouse management functional person, so we need to connect with the dedicated functional person of that area. Anyways, whoever provided the functional specification, anyways, that functional has the expertise in that area. These functionals are dedicated to one module, but technical persons are not module specific. You cannot say that I will develop a report only for the SAP SD module. I will develop a report only for SAP MM module. I will develop a report for SAP FICO module only. No, because ultimately coding is in which language? A BAP language. So functionals are dedicated for one module, but technical is never dedicated for one module because coding is same for each and every module. The code for each and every module is in a BAP language Excel. Now, now we will go in such a way that you will sit with functional person and yes, you will understand how that functional is preparing the test case. Now, a good technical person is who understand the business terminology also. Every time we are saying sales order, sales order, sales order. Okay, so just check with functional person or ask functional person, can you please tell me what is sales order? Because a good technical person, okay, Anyways, you know code, you can write the code, but you, if you understand the business terminology also, it will be a add-on to you. So just simple example, what is sales order? Suppose simple example, I logged in into Amazon or Flipkart, okay? I ordered something. Okay, suppose I order 10 quantity of soap, suppose 10 quantity of shampoo. Have you seen at that time one order number is generating? 
So what is sales order? It is a document or it is a number for the linking of what customer and the company. Yes, you are ordering to that company. Yes. So a sales order is a number, a sales order is a document, yes, which is between the customer and the customer and the company for the delivery of goods. Yes, whenever you are ordering something, a order number is generating. So sales order is what sales order is a number or it is a document between the customer and the company for the delivery, for the delivery of the goods. Now, we are saying, yes, for the sales order, two major tables, VBAK, VBAP. And in this table, data is present. So it is not the magic that data is, uh, data automatically went to those tables. Yes, we created the sales order after that, only data went to this VBAK and VBAP table. It is not the case that someone put the data okay into these tables. No, we created the sales orders. And after that, only the data went to these tables. Okay, now go to the functional person and just see and check how functional is going for test data or how functional is creating the sales order so that you can also create a sales order by your own and you can check the output of the report by your own itself. Suppose now whenever you will sit with functional person or if functional is not free, you can go for test data. You can check the test data also. But without test data, you can never, never able to find the relationship between the tables. Suppose in front of you, customer will go to VA01 transaction code. This is a transaction code to create the sales order. Whenever we create sales order, after that only, it will go to VBAK and VBAP table. Suppose, we'll go for some order type. There's no need to go into detail of each and every terminology, but at least see how that functional is preparing or how that functional is creating the sales order. Suppose, I will go for some order type. I will take standard order. We'll go for enter. Suppose we will pass some sold to party. Sold to party means customer. Who is the customer? I will give some customer reference. This all thing functional will do in front of you, yes. Or your functional will prepare the test case and give it to you. I will give some payment terms. Now, just compare it to real, real-time scenario, yes. You are ordering, you are ordering something through Amazon or Flipkart. Suppose I'm saying, I will go for 42 material. Have you seen 42 material is steel? Suppose I'm ordering 100 quantity of steel. So suppose you can understand you are ordering 10 shampoo. Suppose I'm going for second material. 134 suppose. So 134 is iron. Suppose I'm ordering 100 iron. So I ordered two things. One is steel and one is iron. I ordered 100 quantity of steel and I ordered 100 quantity of iron. Just think it to your real world itself. You are ordering multiple items. Now I am going for sale. I will go for sale. Have you seen the sales order number 77 generated? Suppose 
I will go for one more sales order so that I can show you the full. I will go for some sold to party, same to say. I'm going for some payment terms. Suppose I'm ordering same to same thing again. Or another user is ordering. I clearly told this is all functional person responsibility because you don't know at that point of time which material you need to put, what sold to party you need to put. I'm going for sale. So functional person prepared two sales order in front of you. What is two sales order? One is 76 number and one is 78 number. Because if you will sit with the functional person and see how that functional is preparing the sales order, you can prepare it by yourself later. Or if you are not doing this, at least, yes, you require the test data. So we prepare two sales order, 76, 78. Now that data, these sales order went to which tables now? VBAK, VBAP. See, this behind this particular VA01 transaction, there is a program which is inserting data to which tables? VBAK and VBAP. 